Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Diablo 2 with Franzi, the Franzi Barbarian from Bavaria. And he has a lot of health now, 1001 life to be exact. And last time we had a really cool gamble session where we got some useful items, like this one, which is pretty awesome. Um, although it has very low enhanced damage, which is its only main drawback. And then, uh, no, we found this one. We got not found this one. We gambled this one. Du a dual leech. The only thing I could um, say worries me a little bit about this one is that the percentage for the life steal is very low. And that's, I think that's the lowest you can get, isn't it? I think 3 to 5% is the uh, lowest modifier you can get, and 3% would be a really bad roll. So this is kind of crap in that sense, and we shall of course continue to gamble rings, and maybe if we get something better, but for now, this certainly is something that looks like we're going to keep for a long, long time. And of course, another thing we gambled is this beauty. It has plus 183% enhanced damage, and mind you, you can get up to, what is it, 450% enhanced damage on rare items, uh, which completely outclass uh, unique items for the most part. And uh, yeah, if you get lucky, that is. Very, very lucky. Uh, let's hope we are going to do that. But um, this one certainly looks like something I would want to upgrade and use, because this is a massive damage dealer. The other one we gambled, I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, I, I think so. This one uh, is really cool as well. So, 72% enhanced damage. These are my uh, my non-upgraded uh, weapons I, I have here for, to, to select for battle later on. Because these are my old ones, both upgraded. But this one is kind of shit, apart from its utility of cold damage. And, of course, this one for its mana steel. But now that we have mana steel on the ring permanently, don't really need the utility of this weapon anymore. And that was its only proper utility. Uh, no, another one is the poison damage, which is important. You might th say like, oh yeah, 12 poison damage over 3 seconds, that's uh, 4 DPS, scare up, 4 DPS. You, you can get rid of 4 DPS, that's, that's not a big deal. But, these 4 DPS come with a uh, another thing that is hidden. And that is uh, monster, prevent monster heal during the um, time this poison damage is in effect. And that is a lot of DPS in hell difficulty. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the m offset of not healing enemies is uh, very large compared to the <laughs> 4 DPS you get here. So today is another grinding day for Franzi. And yeah, I, I think we do want to upgrade um, our weapons to make the grind a little faster. But I'm so not sure which ones to take. I want to wait a little longer because uh, we might just gamble something even better. And our let's let's take a look into the stash. How many weapons can we upgrade right now? Uh, dum -de dum -de dum here we are. So we have two perfect sapphires right now and we have Aught Arm twice. It looks like. Yeah, okay, so twice. We can make two weapon upgrades. And we need to make two weapon upgrades because these are not that good. Someone mentioned that um, only the first weapon's attack uh, speed is important for how quickly Frenzy performs. And I want to try that out, really. Because uh, I'm, I'm not convinced yet. I, I may be very convinced when once I see the empirical data in front of me as a proper scientist you want to see it happen all right uh, but let's get let's get rolling and uh, somehow I need to have more room in here it's also full oh there we have another odd room that's nice all right I think we need to make room here by yeah, sorting out a few things I'm not too fussed about the poison length reduced anymore we haven't used it so far and probably won't and uh, we can, if things get dire in hell mode with poison damage, uh, which it might be, which is totally possible, 
um, then we can always resort to just buying a full page full of antidote potions and just just drink them all because the effect timer stacks. So yeah, for a complete session of um, playing for an hour, you just need to buy 120 of these potions, which don't cost much, and you're, you're good. You have a permanent um, plus 50% Poison resist. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. And I think uh, this one isn't warranted anymore. So a little bit more space in inventory. Also, why the hell do we have? <laughs> no, that, that pun was unintended. Sorry. <laughs> why the hell do we have <laughs> three hell runes? <laughs> okay, now we don't need three of these. Um, that is completely unnecessary. So more space. And why do we have three soul runes? What do we need those for? Was there some kind of recipe that needed them? Oh, we have four even. Now that's ridiculous. All right, all cleaned up. I think this is reasonable. We have our hammer here. Oh no, I wanted to try out something with this one with the attack speeds. And uh, yeah, just selling off these should be all right. And give us uh, all the inventory space we need, stash space, and now we have even a little bit more room in our cube. Ha, huh, what is this? Uh, we have found claws that actually are not completely worthless. Plus three to claws of thunder certainly helps. And these are greater claws, so it's a, an exceptional item, I think. Uh, one odd thing I just noticed is that when you, when you see him walking around, you can see the brighter hammer is in his right hand right now and that I would think is the main hand but it's sitting in here uh, let's see so ah, this damn aura this damn aura is in the way Azrael shut it down now so you see brighter hammer is in his what is it now uh, that is now in the left and now this is in the left Okay, that is slightly confusing. They switch around when you <laughs> put them away. So how do we uh, switch things around so that the um, this one is in the right hand? Like this. Okay, so now this one is actually in the right hand and this one is in the off hand. So let's uh, try to do our little test once again. Oh. Oh, now there we have a massive difference. Tricky Diablo. Very tricky Diablo. I didn't know you were that tricky. So, if we exchange this one. Oh yeah, that is much slower. Okay, that's a massive difference. Okay, re-equip this one. And it's fast. Okay. Well, okay, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. This is um, more tricky and more non-transparent than I would like it to be. So you have to place the um, hammer you want to have in the main hand first. It doesn't depend on which slot you put it in, though, which is what I thought would be, like, obvious. Uh, but obviously it isn't obvious. So... You place the main weapon first, and then you add the second one, and then you get your fast attack speed from the first weapon. And um, now let's try it out the other way around. Like this, and it should be much slower. Yes, okay. Yeah, obviously much slower. So you guys are right. And indeed, the... Um, only the, the main weapon attack speed matters. So this one is actually quite good. We could socket it with uh, <laughs> like a, a Shire rune and then have plus 50% increased attack speed on that. That was qu quite nice. Uh, although its damage sucks, so uh, that still remains. So Piddler skin with maximum attack speed plus 30%. Let's have a, a quick... Oh, no, 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 don't cold... No, no, cold... Mm. Damn cold enchanted. That's still terrible and still worthy of a safe and exit. <laughs> right. I am over so 
So while we are slaying these beasts here on our standard grind tour, um, let's talk about the consequences of our little findings about the attack speed. Basically that means that you want to have uh, a, a specialized weapons. So you want one weapon which is very fast and maybe even, let's say, um, so fast so that we might want to look into using flails instead. Maybe that makes it ultra fast. And then on the offhand, you want to have a massively powerful weapon uh, with loads and loads of damage. Please give me uh, the modifiers of that one sword which we uh, got in the last episode. That was uh, absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, that makes sense. And then in the main, uh, in the main hand, you definitely want to have this fast weapon with a lot of attack rating because that is what triggers the speed up effect of um, frenzy. So uh, yeah, we've learned a little bit here right now. Maybe that was old news for you, but to me, uh, I've never properly investigated that. I thought so. I, I, I think right now. So yeah, that's that's a little bit new. So after all that, looking at this weapon, it makes it even more powerful because this one has a lot of extra t attack rating. And overall is pretty great for for all kinds of utility with its um, plus one to masteries. That, that does help. Um, although we don't have much skills in this. Let's take a quick look in the masteries, combat masteries. Um, well, yes, we get more resistances. Okay, not too bad. Um, more damage and critical hit and attack rating from that as well as a little bit more defense. So it's not too bad, but it could be... No, it couldn't be better. Actually, that is the best thing apart from... Ah, oh, maybe maybe the cries, the war cries would be even better because we're using them all the time. And uh, there's also find item here. And yeah, yeah, I think war cries would have been the optimal one. The least important one, certainly combat skills because there's very little difference at uh, the upper end of these skills uh, when you get plus one here. It's not not in the sorcerer's way where they go way, way uh, quadratic in nature and just uh, fly off to infinite damage, but uh, rather it doesn't really matter for the barb. Well, speaking of skills, we have four just lying around here. What are we doing with those? Um... Good question. Maybe one more in find item. Um, do we want to have one more? I mean, we need the money. This is kind of specific to this build, really. We do need the money. Uh, so 35% sounds good. And then we place uh, battle orders. Yeah, more life. More life we shall need. And uh, yeah, I did um, consider going for battle cry, of course. But there are plenty more levels to come here. In even a nightmare before we have to to go down this path if we really wanted to and this certainly makes a lot of sense to use uh, for hell difficulty where we will have troubles hitting enemies and dying from the enemy damage so this will be uh, pretty much perfect for us yeah one thing that is really annoying with having to put your uh, your fast weapon that probably does lower damage into your uh, main hand and then the other one into the offhand is that with frenzy with more than one uh, monster around you will actually not really see how much damage you're dealing because um, only the primary weapon is hitting your enemies directly while as you can see uh, no no you can't see it's going too fast but um, yeah that is it's kind of putting that you see as soon as I um, as I got in contact with more than one monster Shanks health didn't drop that much even though I focused him and that is because well the the main damage then is in the offhand so that is a little bit of a bummer oh oh shit that's a bad bad enemy I don't like Z monsters that are the champions apart from for Z loot and Azrael has already taken care of this problem, I see. Ouch, 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 ouch. They do hurt. They do hurt a lot. So many spears in here. 
Oh shit, now, no, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, so let's quickly just get get all of these. Can't, stop shooting at me. I need to find the the champion enemies. Uh, what's going on here? Oh no, he's stuck again. Oh, this is a nice and fast rune sword. <laughs> with this one, we uh, would be attacking even faster with Frenzy. Another thing I really have to point out, though, is that with this hammer, unupgraded, my god, is our damage output low in comparison to what we had with uh, both hammers upgraded. Oh, uh, that's bad. This one would indeed need the 135% uh, enhanced damage to really be uh, decent, and then the upgrade, too, of course. But, uh, yeah, we are, we are progressing nicely, already about... Yeah, a uh, quarter of a million in the bank. Small charm! Small charm! Let's see. Uh, strength. Ah, oh, fuck. Don't need that. Oh no, Ezreal the wanker! He's back! <laughs> this rock is really exciting him, you see? And he just keeps at it! My, my god, okay. Uh, you're going hard, mate. That is just just calm down a little. Oh, nice, pretty good finds here. Horned helm with plus three, plus three, and then we have this one, revive, and the staff plus two to fireball, and an amulet which probably is shite. Oh yes, let's throw this one away and just take along the demon high boots. Yes, I could have thrown away the keys, but I'm too lazy to buy new ones. <laughs> the standoff. <laughs> now finally. Now finally they are coming. Um, Azrael, I know the rock was was good and all, yes, but I, I could you could you stop doing my bum, please, with your spear? Thank you. Oh, shark tooth armor. Uh, that one might be fun to look at. Uh, okay, got lots of crap in here. And this one can go, yay! So we can take it right away. So let's take a look at what this one is. Ooh, ooh, nice! Okay, two sockets in this one. That's the main, main thing which makes it good. The other stats are very mediocre, I would say, apart from the fast aid recovery, which always is appreciate it oh shit look at that we are finding some nice armors in here um, that's rather impressive oh look we found a unique item another one was hidden in the fire once again uh, and it is the uh, Athena's wrath or something what is it yes yes exactly Athena's wrath a very, very nice weapon. Very nice weapon for a bear druid or werewolf druid or something. Uh, this one is pretty nice. Really fast, too. Decent damage. Can be upgraded to hell item, so an elite item, and then deals uh, tremendous amounts of damage. I like it. And I do not really like Bonehood. The Assault Helmet. The uh, fierce assault helmet, the infamous assault helmet, even. Um, we shall sell it for about three dollars fifty. So how about three dollars fifty? One thousand three hundred. Okay. Oh, I could have thrown that one away. And this one just goes for four K, and that's why you don't want to find unique items because they are usually not selling for much. Oh, flying axe. They usually sell for a lot of money. And how much is a lot? Well, 20k? Oh, okay. Shank just continues dropping uh, nice stuff. How about a unique demon hide armor? Also, we found an ort rune and a ward art and uh, worm hide boots. Uh, lots of money everywhere. But uh, this one is really nice. Let's take a quick look. Skin of the flayed one. Super handy if you find it earlier, early ish. Uh, and upgraded, this one is a beast, of course. 
Um, but all, on the other hand, you don't probably don't really want to spend those ex uh, semi-expensive runes. Very expensive in single player. Not uh, so expensive in multiplayer, uh, but in multiplayer. Then again, you have so many much better items, which is a shame, really, because these items are really cool, too. True, you need them. You need them. It's as good as Weisswurst, at least. Oh, there's so much nice stuff dropping from from these whoop whoops. I love me some whoop whoops. Look at that. I'm just uh, dropping a full plate armor and a, a wand. Hmm. Yes, full plate mail armor is uh, pretty expensive, even if it only has damage reduced by one. And uh, you don't have to take along superior great helmets anymore. Although I won't say no to oh thirty thousand on this one. Uh, 3,000 on the other. So, yeah, that was a little bit of overkill right there. And we made it to level 60 already. Um, how about more vitality? Um, maybe we even want to have a bit more dex. Yeah, it's still pretty awful, actually. 78? This hasn't gone up anything. Uh, that's bad. Um... So maybe another five in here and five in vitality, yes. And just a little, little bit more, doesn't hurt. Oh shit, I'm frozen. Fancy. Yes, okay. Double weapon switch to the rescue. Oh, by the way, one thing I noticed, like I'm using this um, non-specific aim for uh, the frenzy, and that is what many people have said they would be using, and I can see the um, utility of it now a little better, uh, with the added understanding that I now have from uh, the uh, on-hand, off-hand uh, use of frenzy, and that is when you are focusing an enemy and you are forced to use your, uh, on average, weaker weapon, weaker but faster weapon on your main hand, you really don't want to aim the, um, at the first blow at the enemy which is the most dangerous, which you usually pick out to kill first. So, um, yeah, while you would have to operate an opposite world a little bit, uh, as in you need to focus down the weaker enemy standing next to the uh, dangerous enemy you t which you actually want to hit. Um, that is a little counterintuitive. Wow, and we are getting all the all the armor once again. Oh, that's nice. So uh, yeah, what I'm what I want to say is, if you are aiming at the correct monster, you are hitting the wrong monster. So you can equally well just go frenzy and. Um, Frenzy through, like uh, no aim whatsoever. The um, professional player, of course, would do slightly different. And let's whoop this one. Um, no, would do slightly different, and of course, um, very diligently focus down the wrong, so to say, enemy to hit the correct one. And positioning is really vital because if you have t only two enemies next to you, then um, you can guarantee. Even with frenzy and the weaker, the focus weapon on one hand, the weaker focus weapon on one hand, um, that you will mostly hit the correct monster. That is rather complicated, though, and in most situations, maybe you're not um, focusing on that too much because you're focusing on, for example, not dying. So I don't blame you if you're doing it that way. But yeah, I can see the utility of right hand um, attacking and just not aiming. Uh, as yeah, it's it's a um, it's a comfortable thing to do. You don't have to aim on new enemies, and it automatically does uh, everything for you. So uh, that's pretty cool, and doesn't hurt all that much if you're frenzying with a weak weapon in your main hand. Oh, large jump! But we have to keep up frenzy. Frenzy! Oh shit! That's too many. <laughs> Let's head head back to 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 base, Mister uh, Mister Azrael. Um, that, that is... Oh no, are they like cold enchanted and shit? No, it's we who are cold enchanted. Oh, we've all found Vidalas, isn't that? Uh, I, I think so. 
Um, what is it called again? Vidala's uh, horn? Okay, now we have to whoop whoop everything here. Oh, there's another one. We need to whoop whoop. Those champions are awesome to whoop. Oh, there's even a, uh, a, um, a proper boss still here. Yay, double drop! I love it when that happens. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's neat! Uh, does this mean that we no longer need the utility of a cold enchanted weapon? Let's see, did we have that before? I don't think we had any cold damage before, did we? Uh, no! Okay, so yes, we uh, no longer are in need of this. Uh, did we have it here? Oh no, I put it into uh, the stash. The the hammer with the um, utility of being cold enchanted. We now have a large charm that does this for us. That is good news. And I think we can sacrifice this charm, as it's pretty awful. Uh, yeah, we don't don't need that anymore. This one can go. I do want to have uh, no more charms than can fit into this sector because I want to have two full spaces for items at all times. Otherwise it just becomes a little bit of a slog with inventory management. So what do we have here? Uh, oh, that's a shitty jaw. Ah, Vidala's barb. Yes, the barb it is. I think I was thinking of the arctic horn, right? Yeah, must, must be coming from that confusion. All right, let's check here. Avenger Guard, uh, or Avenger Guard, rather. Um, and a little warned. But what more was there? Uh, trellised armor. Nice. Gives some uh, money. Oh, this one wasn't too bad. And I think we have enough money for today and enough leveling for today to now proceed into what you're all waiting for. Uh, the gabble. That is, and three perfect sapphires for three weapon upgrades. So the big question for today, of course, is running circles around Anya. Will we ever see her behind properly with Franzi? Maybe we can trick her by running. Ah, yeah, they're almost, almost. Okay, now, but what are we gambling? Eh? What are we gambling today? I think more Warhammers with the f like first half, and then we proceed to more rings. Uh, yeah, I think that is a good combination, just like last time. Uh, worked out pretty well, as we had so much money. Okay, first Warhammer. What do we have? Plus 20% increased attack speed. Uh, we have something better already. And what is this? Oh, okay, starts pretty well. Uh, hit causes monsters to flee, 100%. No thank you, although the mana steel is pretty nice on this one. Alright, and this one is... Oh. Lots of attack rating, that is for certain. I really like the Fool's modifier. Uh, that one gives so damn much attack rating, it's amazing. But yeah, it's not very useful on a just magic item. There we have another one. Uh, knockback, nope, nope, nope. And, oh, weird. That's a weird Warhammer. What's this one? Plus nine to life, wow, that's that's amazingly bad. There's another one. 7% poison resist. Come on. Just give me the uh, cruel warhammer of quickness already. I would take that as a magic item and use it. Ah, there we have one. And no, not, <laughs> not one in the sense that it's a cruel uh, warhammer of quickness, but uh, rather just a mediocre battle hammer. Hmm. At least some money back. And another one for maximum damage. I've seen somewhat better Warhammers. And another one. Um, brutal Warhammer. Not quite enough. Brutal is not cruel. And this one. Increased attack speed 20. We had that today already. Oh, that really brings up the question if Anya maybe is repurposing all those items I sell back to her and just puts them back into the pool. Anya, what are you doing? That is cheating. Here we have one. Um... Warhammer of Measure. It sounds so... so calm. So precise. And this one? Uh, and come on, Anya. Are you kidding me? 
Another one plus 20% increased attack speed. And another Brutal Warhammer. This is this is the theme of today's gambling session, isn't it? Uh, poison damage, 7 over 3 seconds. Uh, yeah, brilliant. And this one, uh, 62 attack rating. How about this one? Maximum damage and attack rating. It's getting slightly better. And here we have a pure Warhammer of the Locust. Yeah, the max maximum roll. Uh, is it the maximum roll? Can you get up to 9% lifesteal? I think it's uh, 4 to 7 and then 5 to 9, isn't it? Soldier's Warhammer of Excellence. Are we approaching something usable? Uh, Warhammer of Chain Lightning. And Warhammer of the Glacier. Uh, glacier or Smasher. And here we have a Warhammer of Slaying. Come on, one decent Warhammer. Now, we had one decent one, which was uh, which had a major flaw, of course. Uh, this is not looking good so far. Here we have one. Oh, no, come on. Sacrifice. <laughs> that lamb of sacrifice. Here we have another one. Prevent monster heal. Warhammer of vileness. Oh, grinding Warhammer. Well, that would be a fitting thing for our character to use. And another one. Zeal. <laughs> we could use zeal. Only 25 charges. Why Why is this a thing even? Has anyone ever used like zeal charges on a weapon? Really? And another Warhammer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Warriors Warhammer of 20% um, increased attack speed. Alacrity. Is that how it's pronounced? Alacrity. Um, maybe. I, I've never heard that word in normal normal usage, so... Uh, 1 to 100, 1 lightning damage, static Warhammer. That would be a nice thing to have on uh, a pretty good, um, uh, rare Warhammer. But only as a utility on top of that. Kind of helps in hell difficulty to have some of these massive elemental damages. Ah, is, was this our last Warhammer? Do we need to continue to gamble rings now? Ah, it's, rings are so expensive though. Uh, maybe a few more Warhammers. Oh, two Warhammers. Okay, let's say these are our last two Warhammers. And we have a Mana Steel and plus two Strength. Okay, this was a complete failure today. We only got one rare that was decent. Did we even get another rare? I don't think so. So now let's start uh, gambling rings. And that one is trash for minimum damage. What do we have here? Uh, oh no, 50k for this one. Are you kidding me? And there's a five life. Awful, awful, awful. And what do we have here? Four mana and 13 energy. Oh, I can see my money invested so wisely. Um, and this one, fire resist, 8%. Ah, oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Alright, um, this ring, 5% five, five minimum, uh, 5, 2 minimum damage. Um, that multiplies up quite nicely for a barbarian, but uh, still, it's pretty much worthless. And, oh no, come on. Oh, this must have been the most terrible gambling session ever. Ever. That was one million bucks down the drain. We didn't get a single item which we needed to consider for keeping. Um, you can't win all the days of uh, gambling, so this one um, probably was the worst. And anyway, still, I hope you enjoyed. And now it's really time to wrap up this episode. Uh, so see you guys next time. We'll